So I think as a student pharmacist, getting involved with professional pharmacy organizations is the best thing that you can do for your education. Because um, to some level, it allows you to stay engaged with what the profession is teaching or how the profession is changing. Um, in classes, you'll really get a lot of the didactic portion. So you'll learn about the therapeutics, you'll learn about the pharmacology, you'll learn about uh, medicinal chemistry, but the practice side of it, you don't really get in class. You might practice with fake patients, you might practice on, uh, um, with pay, you know, with, as, a, as a simulation, but it's not until I think you get in the real world when you're in a health fair, um, counseling a patient on, uh, on their heart disease or counseling a patient on their medication or health education on strategies that they can do to mitigate their blood glucose levels rising. Um, I don't think until you see that side of it, you really have a full understanding of what being a pharmacist is like. Um, and I, I sort of put things in four buckets. When you're involved in a professional organization like APHA, ASP, uh, you get to focus on the patient care component of the profession. You get to focus on the networking part of the profession. So how is it that you're meeting with practitioners who are in the field, who are licensed pharmacists and who have different careers on opportunities that exist um, for you once you graduate? Uh, it helps you focus on the leadership component. So getting involved with a chapter level, uh, running for chapter offices, or developing some of the skills that you need to be a successful leader um, in the profession. And then the last part of which is the policy and advocacy part. So where are the changes that are being discussed now in state houses and in Congress um, that'll expand the, the scope of the profession and how you as a student pharmacist can get involved in learning about those issues, but then also doing your part to advocate for those issues. And so I think all four of those areas um, professional organizations do a great job on teaching student pharmacists and I don't necessarily think that it's not missing in the pharmacy school education or the curriculum but I think it's not until you practice it um, and you really see it for you really actually are in the field doing it that you get an idea of uh, of what the profession is about and what you can do as a pharmacist and a student pharmacist.